So we're here at the NEC in Birmingham for TCT 360. We're here with all of our manufacturers to showcase all the technologies that we have under the 3D umbrella, whether it's new applications, booking consultations, anything we can do, let's go and see what we've got on the stand. On the stand, we've got all the manufacturers here, going through every single stage of the additive journey, looking at consultation from level zero, taking us all the way up through to mass manufacturing. So here we've got our Shining 3D stand. Now Shining 3D is a brand of 3D scanners. Shining have a range of scanners from the Transcan C we've got down here. We've got the cute little Iron Star. We've also got our Pro HD and our HX and H up there. Now obviously all these scanners have a different application that is a resolve from smaller components to being able to scan something much larger and even scanning people. So all of these different scanners can help you in different ways in your business. And here we've got the Linkster. Now the Linkster is a silicon based printer using three different print heads so we can do a massive range of prints here. So this is a Delta style 3D printer which means we're printing a little bit quicker and it's some better quality as well. So the range of materials we can do on this machine is really phenomenal to be able to cover a massive range of applications so a really interesting printer. The BMF is a micro 3D printer. And when we're talking about micro 3D prints I don't mean small I mean literally microns okay. So the BMF that we've got can print down to two micron layer height, which is unbelievably small. These kind of parts will be used in a lot of medical work, sort of stints for blood vessels and all those kind of things, and a lot of blood work. So the microfluidics uh, application for this is unbelievable, really. As we're heading over here, we'll quickly capture our RAISE 3D stand as well. The RAISE 3D have got a couple of printers. Uh, the RAISE Hyperspeed kit is also out as well, meaning we can print up to five times faster than normal, which if you're looking to increase production, why get another printer, get the RAISE Hyperspeed and crack them off anyway. We've also got the RAISE Forge 1, which is our metal 3D printer from RAISE 3D, meaning we can do metal parts on that machine, and that machine has been designed for metal, and it's pretty good. Now, the hands of metrology uh, from Zeiss will be used for mostly inspecting parts, but also capturing some insane detail on small parts like circuit boards and things like that. So if you've got a batch production run of 150 parts, and you need them inspected, instead of sitting there with some measuring tools, get them scanned, the GOM can generate automatic reports, making your job a lot easier, and increasing your workflow, I mean, that's just unbelievable, okay? Over here we have our HP stand. Now HP is our powdered printer, meaning we can create unbelievably strong parts on this thing as well, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. And the applications and different materials are just out of this world really for the HP. So HP is an unbelievable sign up for our 3D printers, so that's fantastic. So Mini Factory is based on producing ultra polymers. So whereas our other brands are producing sort of the low end plastics, this is the real intense stuff. We're talking high temperature, high strength, high durability, all those ultra polymers. So being able to make the higher grade printed parts is available on the mini factory, another fantastic bit of kit. We have our BASF material partners who provide material for all the range of our printers from the mini factory, the braised automakers and also our photosensitive resin machines as well. Now the materials that they produce cover the biggest range I think I've ever seen. So if you're after any kind of material properties, the chances are BASF have already got one and we can supply that to you. So over here is our Ultimaker stand. Now Ultimaker is our longest standing uh, reseller channel and we started with them in the beginning so they've got a soft place in my heart as well. Being able to go from doing metals, plastics, uh, and then got carbon film materials as well, all on one printer, just means that for a small investment, you can really upgrade to a massive range of applications. Over here, we've got our photocentric magnet. Now the photocentric magnet is a resin based 3D printer, which means we can create larger parts in incredible detail, something like this. What it also means, because you've got such a big build volume, if we're making smaller components, such as this cover, then we can make a lot of them and at the same time. So if this takes us four hours to print, 100 of them on one build plate also takes four hours. So bridging the gap of mass production from a single printer uh, and injection molding parts, the photosensitive manga sits right in the middle of that to increase your production. Now over here we have our 3G Barry Meltio stand. We've also got the Meltio on the robot arm as well. So the Meltio is a machine that will melt welding wire down and then 3D print straight into metal. So there's no debinding sintering or messing with it afterwards. As soon as it's printed, that's straight into metal. So applications for this are off the charts really. Automotive, uh, aerospace, naval, unbelievable. And being able to deploy the Meltio on a robot arm to give you as big a build volume as you like is fantastic. And the CNC integration is absolutely phenomenal. 
So here we have our Meiku stand. So Meiku has a couple of machines, but the main one is the pressure former that you can see there. So the pressure former means that instead of a vac former where we're sucking down a plastic sheet on top of a part, this pressure former builds the temperature and the build chamber in there. What that means is we are pushing the sheet down on top of our parts, which means we can make rapidly more products uh, at a better quality using the Meiku. So being able to use this for uh, stamping out lots of parts quickly is phenomenal uh, and a great application to have. And here we have our BCN stand. The BCN is a similar product to our Rays and our Ultimaker in terms of it's a filament machine, but the BCN has an IDEX printer, which means we've got two independent print heads that we can use separate from each other. So if we've got 10 parts that we need to produce, we can do five on the left, five on the right, and it only takes the time it takes to make five of the parts. But also if we need a left and a right part, those can be printed at the exact same time, which kind of increases your production and means you can make more parts in a short space of time. So that's like buying two printers for the price of one, which I think is pretty impressive. That's it, that's our stand. So why don't you book a consultation with 3DG Diary and see how all these technologies can help you. I'm sure we've got something that can cover for you. Let's help you out and make sure that you have a fantastic year this year with your business.